The Vikings are back. Or were scientists wrong all along and Viking culture never really disappeared? It's certainly active and lively here. But these Vikings did not raid the city of Lerwick on the Scottish Shetland Islands. They're celebrating up Heli Awe. It's a Viking carnival. The UK's northernmost archipelago is famous for its robust Shetland ponies. But life here is tough coastal cliffs, the rough sea, and barren land. In the 9th century, Vikings conquered the islands, which were a part of Norway until the 15th century. To this day, Scandinavian culture is omnipresent, especially at the Viking festival up Heli Awe. Once a year, about a thousand men from Lerwick dress up as Vikings and roam through town. Women aren't allowed to participate, but still play an important role. There's such a lot of work involved. It's a big day. We're all very proud. Women are a big part of it. Um, I couldn't run without women as well. We organise everything and oh, there's a lot behind the scenes that the men couldn't do without us. So don't worry about women not being involved. <laughs> the centre of attention is the Viking chief, known as Geyser Jarl. This year, Liam Summers plays this role. It's very important, it's one of the biggest days of the year. Um, it's just celebrating who we are, our own uniqueness, and uh, our own ability to put on a good fun for ourselves and have a good time. Hey! The participants of the Chief's entourage, known as Jarl Squad, are determined by a committee 14 years in advance. That's how long the 60 men can prepare for their performance. These handmade armors are worth several thousand euros. I'm very, very happy and very proud. Um, and look at them, they look absolutely fantastic. And so the Nordic men spend a whole day moving from one appointment to the next. Everywhere they go, they're celebrated and celebrate themselves. Like here at the Lerwick Shetland Museum. The festival's origins probably lie in the 19th century. Back then, many Christmas and New Year's celebrations ended in riots, much to the dismay of older inhabitants. Therefore, they came up with a festival to be held at the end of January. The Viking theme came into being over time. Today, there's a strict choreography. The actual highlight of the Up Heli Awe begins after sunset, when all the streetlights in Lurwick are turned off. A torchlight procession marches through the town, led by the Viking chief, who's carried in a self-made longboat. At the end, the boat is set on fire. Construction of the ship took six months, and after a few minutes, it's engulfed in flames. But the Jarl Squad's mission isn't over yet. Uh, oh yes, well, we, we, we start going around the halls about half past nine. So we've got um, 11 halls to go around. So and we'll finish about seven in the morning. Even if it takes all night, these men will enjoy every second as they've waited for this special day for years. <laughs>